Joe runs the YouTube channel Naked Watchmaker, where he restores vintage and antique watches. This $3,000 Cartier tank watch was designed during World War I. This particular watch was made in the 1980s. It was left in a damp cellar, and now the leather strap is deteriorating, dirt is caked inside, the gold plating is tarnished, and the watch is not functioning. Joe shows us how he restores this watch by taking it apart, fixing the movement, which is the gears inside, cleaning it, polishing the pieces, gold plating the body, and reassembling it. First, Joe is deconstructing the watch so he can work on each piece separately. He's using a screwdriver to carefully remove the tiny screws. Joe places each piece into small containers to ensure he doesn't misplace a part. Then he moves on to taking apart the inside of the watch. Now, as you can see, uh, this is a tiny movement. It's a Cartier 78-1 17 joule manual wind movement. It's a very simple movement with just an hour and minute hand. Uh, the movement is very dirty and there is a screw missing on the train bridge. Joe uses tweezers and a screwdriver to meticulously remove each component from inside the watch. Then it's time for the cleaning. He puts each piece into metal mesh containers and places them into an ultrasonic cleaning machine. The ultrasonic waves clean the piece without damaging them. For my case and bracelet cleaning, I use this water-based ammoniated solution. One tank with the solution and two rinse tanks with just clean water. I then use these two non-water-based solutions for cleaning the movements. The gold plating on the case of the watch has tarnished and worn off in some spots, so Joe is replating it. He is polishing the body to blend in the silver and gold areas. So the idea is to not remove all the gold, but just to blend it all in so that it's level and then we can replate it. After polishing, the change in color is drastically different, and most of the scratches on the case are taken out. So you can see a few big dents here, and I'm gonna leave them in, because if we try and take these out, then you'll end up ruining all this text and hallmarks and stamps. So sometimes, you just have to know when to stop. To replate the case of the watch, Joe uses a mixture of chemical baths and a gold plating tank. Electricity from the tank fuses the gold onto the piece. I first clean the part in an electro cleaning solution, which has violently reacted with the silver. The reaction to the silver easily wipes off. I then nickel activate the case just in case nickel was used in the factory. Silver does tarnish very easily, so even if there is gold plating on top of it, the tarnish on the silver will eventually show through the thin layer of gold plating. So it's always a good idea to put a layer of nickel on first. After nickel activating the case, I then nickel plate the case and give the plating a quick buff to make the shine even. And then I nickel activate it again and then finish off with a layer of gold plating. Once Joe has taken all the steps to clean, repair, and replate this Cartier watch, he starts reassembling it. He applies glue onto the inner edges of the case, then places the crystal back onto the case and cures it under a UV light. He strategically lays out all the inner pieces to start putting the watch back together. 
for that missing screw I have a similar movement let's see if we can find the screw we have a screw Joe accurately places each tiny part using tweezers to reassemble the movement If he doesn't place each part in the correct order, the watch will not work. He uses very thin screwdrivers to screw in the small screws and keep everything in place. Joe tests the watch's movement using a time grapher, which measures the ticks of the watch to calibrate it. He puts the dial over the movement, attaches the hands onto the face, puts the front and back of the case on, attaches a new leather strap, and the watch is complete and ready to be worn for years to come.